This is a brief video tutorial demonstrating for you how to add um, a JavaScript to your Canvas instance to do some pretty cool things. Um, I discovered this on the community messaging observers of students in Canvas um, um, through this gentleman, Steve underscore 25. Um, <clears throat> and so the first thing that I did is I downloaded his JavaScript from GitHub, okay? Um, and then what it does is it will download a, fol uh, a folder for you here called MS Gobs Master, okay? Um, mine, of course, went to the uh, downloads. Now, uh, you will need this file here, the msgobs.user.javascript, okay? So what I did um, over in in your Canvas instance, and you go to your admin uh, shield, you're gonna come down here to uh, themes. Uh, now, you'll need to add it to um, a, a specific current theme. So for instance, I, I created this ISS with Java. That's the theme that I use when I add, and I um, build in uh, or add specific Java scripting um, to my instance. And so, so over here inside, I'm going to go ahead and click on the theme. So you choose whatever theme it is that you want to add your, uh, your JavaScript to. And so what I do, once you're there, you're going to come up with the, really your, your whole theme, um, mood board, if you would, that has all of its branding and all of its, uh, um, primary colors, main colors and so forth. But you come over here to upload and you have two uh, upload options, CS, uh, CSS file or JavaScript file. And so you simply can um, uh, click on select. So when I go to select, it's going to actually open up to my um, uh, place where I keep my files. Um, and then, of course, I would find that MS, if you remember, um, I would find that um, MS uh, gobs master folder. Um, and once I did that, of course, um, it's going to be a, a bit of a challenge to find it here. Let's see if I can scroll a little bit further. Uh, right here it is. Okay, so um, whatever, however you organize your your downloads. Uh, in in the, in my instance, I do the most recent. And so, uh, so you come here, you go to your MS, you open it up, and then you would choose the the um, JavaScript file, okay? Now, once you do that, then um, it will populate here. You can view that file. You'll need to make sure that you, um, uh, you can preview the theme, but then you gotta make sure that you save the theme uh, once any changes have been made. Uh, I would um, recommend that you do this in, the, uh, in your test instance first. Um, and then test it out with some some teachers to have them. Um, I mean, you can even masquerade in as as a teacher in your test instance and and, and test this out to see if uh, if it in fact does um, does what it says it's going to do. And then um, the cool thing is is once you once you do that, and then you have uh, you have launched it on the production side. Um, it's part of your theme. So now whenever your teachers are ever in their uh, grade book and they go to message students who they'll also see the option to message observers and remove students from that message. So hope that helps, uh, gives you a, an idea of how to add JavaScript to your, uh, to your Canvas instance here by going to themes. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.